Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Today we are in Vegas, obviously, and we're gonna go check out Area 15 and see all that it has to offer. Yeah, and if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So let's go get lost. Inside Area 51. There's the bar over there, and there's an AC. The first thing you see when you walk up, it's a robot. This is so cool. He's pretty massive, too. I like the part back here. It's dedicated to all of the famous robots. It's yeah. pretty awesome, yeah. It's a nice little display of the holidays. Hey, Bob. Check out some of the shops. You know what? I'm fine with going back to the club. Oh, Zolta. Boulder City Special. will be giving you a rare of wisdom. Now check out some of the Christmas displays. Look at that. Some holiday overlay. We're here after Christmas, but it's still up. So there's the Omega Mart, which we'll be going into in a little bit. Inflatable show. This is awesome. There's even like a chair inside there. I wonder if Santa sits in there. Hey, and in the Omega Mart. Nice so this is the uh, inside of Omega Mart. The first part is like a store looking thing. Check it out. So one of the cool things is like some of the different like brands that are here. They have like vegan goat milk. Look at that. That is weird, but crazy. And some of like their gender fluid. In case y'all need some emergency class. I think they make you... So trippy in here. That's not camera blur, y'all. Cold pressed omnipotence. So you can buy most of this stuff too, which is fascinating. They're just cans, really. That's pretty neat. Meats of the world. you're interested in some camels. Dream of mushroom, hint of husk, implied chicken, barley barley, oh, barely barley, I'm sorry. These are some salad pieces. That's pretty cool, I love the tattoo chicken. It's a little purse. Oh, that's cool. What is that, Nasa? It's a little purse. It's so cute. Check that out. Joe got a kick out of this one. Shrubs. This is the cookout area. And then here is the... Something interesting, last time we were here, you looked through those to see like dioramas. But it's changed. Now you kind of like crawl under there and look. Fascinating. So this is what the fruit display kind of used to look like. It had a little diorama inside. Uh, 
is what the outside of that looks like that I just showed you. So there's the garden section. Go through the freezer, yeah. There's the garden section. Oh. All right, so there's some of the slushy stuff. <laughs> Are you ready to go into the... Yeah, I'm in. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, this is weird. It's weirder. Just an advisory for this video, there are strobe like effects in this video. So, if you are and if you're light sensitive, you guys can just go ahead and skip ahead to the bar outside. So this is the beginning of the Monolith Village. There's a whole backstory here that, that it goes through. So, so you know, it's like got multiple aspects, and depending on what you want to do, it depends on what you kind of find here. We've seen a real one of these before at the Atomic Museum. Check that out in the comments below. That's also in Las Vegas. So here's another part of the story. It kind of makes it twisted and different and weird. This is a super cool exhibit, y'all. So there's like a whole secondary story about missing people and stuff here too that you get in the exhibit. This is the... Well, yeah, let's see what we found. This is the village that you get to. There's little houses over there. And that's the stream of energy that you don't want to step in. I mean, you can just sit here and watch this for hours, y'all. Hours. All right, so there's Hackers. That's an interesting movie reference. True Romance. Deleted entry. Lee. one of the cabins. So that's the whole interactive piece in case you're trying to figure out the story of everything. Okay, watch your employee orientation. The attention to detail here is fascinating. Look at the rocks on the side and stuff. Such a fascinating story. smart one that just oh, went through the big yeah. door. since we were last here. Yeah, I remember the guy being in the cave, right. but I don't remember this. There must 
be a, a, a hieroglyph or whatever, you know, to translate. Yeah. Like you look at the walls and it's like, are the walls flashing? I thought it was coming out of his ass. Look at that picture over there. Kind of the, the water fades away and then yeah. it comes back with the light. That's it. Oof. That's cool. Check out this area. It's very sort of electronics. Check out the janitor's closet. His equipment's melting into the next dimension. Employee of the month, yeah. Employee of the month. Janitor's closet. That's pretty cool. Joe found this out. The employee changes. Oh, it's the monster pulling. Oh. Ah. Oh, he's going after the dog. The squid's going oh, after the dog. Yeah. 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 That is cool, man. The little details are. Yeah. Oh, wait, and it gets even worse. Uh, at least the dog makes it. That's what matters. Yeah, it's super. Hey, that's cool. I didn't even. You can't write stuff on that piece of paper. Now I'm not even telling what it is. Yeah, so it's the factory. Here's the meats from the deli. Oh, that's. Well, these used to actually clean the showroom floor outside uh, in the like grocery area. Yeah. Hulk says hello, guys. Hulk says hello. Cereal, huh? Yeah. And then that's the chopped potatoes. Oh, right, okay. Sure. It was the unlocked potential of each dimension. How can we know what our highest purpose is? What about you? I am here to present to you a new platform. And we'll create not only our physical desires, but our physical. So they have to respond to human body and death. open the drawers and stuff too. There's always stuff down there as well. So they're making boxes in there, looks like. It's the Omega Mart packing. I mean, the one thing about this place is it is so massive. That's like an understatement. Like once you get past the store, there's this huge thing back here. You can do a slide too back here. Look how big it is. What's that?
Washington. So these have a slide up here. It's closed off now, so you can't use the slide, which is sad. into the office. So if you're looking to focus on like the story aspect of this, this is a great place to stop. You scan your card and you can actually save this stuff to the card so you can look at it later online or somewhere else. Uh, but this is definitely a, a great place to get a lot of information about what's going on in that backstory aspect of this attraction. There's a little guy in the vent up there, if you look up. Check out these cool plants in the corner. I love it. I love the reflection of the lights on them. So Joe's trying to cheat. Let's see how this goes. Well, there we go. There's a whole Reddit for him. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> for the win. Let's make sure when you head out to check out this hallway with a bunch of different rooms. This is really cool. Let's go to the Lux phone first. Hello, Mr. Worm. Yeah, these are some of the rooms that are in that offshoot of the hallway we just talked about. And there's the board of executives. Alright, let's check out the mirror room. Forever and ever. Check out this guy, he's L Inspector. It's very Vegasy of him. Yeah, it's us. Woof. It's actually slowed down since we got in here. We got used to it, yeah. one or the other. I think we got used to it. Oh, it does it on all of them. Yeah, it's, um... But this room's empty. So why is this room empty on this side? Is there another room? Well, there's this way. That's like a light hallway. Oh, yeah. I, so this must be like a weird effect, too, to show you, like, to make you think, like... Oof. Okay, so this... 
This is a pretty tame room in comparison to the rest of my bed. Yeah. So far. Right. Right. This always reminds us of the night before, by the way. I love this. People love it, and then when they us, and I went home and The village. I love the stream. It's so cool. You right here? We're going to the employee break room. <laughs> so there's some restrooms, there's the stairs that goes down to the Omega Bar. And then there's even like lockers and stuff you can open up. <laughs> you got it right. Congratulations. You are the employee of the moment. Aw, good job, Joe. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. The moment has ended. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> I am a people serving. Yeah. I scream loving representative of the Grandport community. I cannot be replaced. Okay. I am a people serving. Oh, yeah. I am a yeah. So what did you think so far? Actually, we did really cool. It was really nice to come back to What, like, Yeah, yeah. And honestly, it's a lot of fun, and it's, I still stand by my statement, hours. Oh. I really want to do the, the... Oh, if you want to discover the entire story, I think you'd probably take you a straight up day at least to do it. Uh, something too really cool is that it's so massive but it actually evolves too so it's different than it was last time we were here in some sections. It's still kind of the same layout but there's a lot of different pieces to it and stuff. Really neat. Let's see what else we can find. I like this. George Washington crossing the Omega Mart. Have you ever wanted to know what the seven deadly piñatas are? It's awesome. Best of the best. Oh, Wrath. This guy had like a heart almost. Remember you have to become part of the resistance? Do not eat, everybody. Do not eat. Something I find fascinating is the different fill levels. This one's kind of filled. This one's a little bit more. This one's less. Tell how long it's been sitting on the shelf. Yeah. 
Oh, you can get Simply Spider cereal. Oh. Corn on the cob gummy? There's Tricky a gummy, gummy pickle. Gummy pickles? It's a reversible donut. Don't eat me, I'm a plushie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, no, what do y'all think mashed potatoes taste like? Very berry? Colby Jazz? Just passion fruit? New car? Pineapple? Pine apple. So they have a virtual sampler. Ooh, wow, that's that's good looking. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, I'm liking that. <laughs> wow. We are waiting outside the bar. Here's the bar. It's a pretty tiny place. That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm. 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 Did you want to test out some of the beverages? glasses. <laughs> All they do to mimic my power. <laughs> so this is just tastes like corn. So if you get the orange one and get it with vodka, it tastes like corn. Right? It tastes like corn. Yeah, it tastes like buttered corn. Right? Yeah. It's like a buttery, corny drink. Weird. Weird. I love the hearts. They're like hearts. Some of the merch you can get. He wants butter. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the uh, croissant there too. You love it. Croissant. Check out the postcards. That's trippy. That's cool. With seven dollars. Right, yes. I like the sticker. You should let us know. Should we got that sticker? Some merch at the register. Tomato snail. <laughs> Carazola pepper. Yeah, avocado coin purse. Tomato milk. Apples. So if you're here, you can do the ride around there. There they go. That's pretty cool.
go. Also, if you don't go into the Omega Mart, they do have a whole gift shop back here that you want to check out. Well, for me, Owl Wolf. Check out that outfit. I love the, the melting hair. That's cool. Very cool. Look at all this merch, y'all. I didn't actually realize this was back here, the shop. Yeah. In all fairness. And we've been to Omega Mart twice now. I love the paintings. Holy cow, that's awesome. Look at the rainbow colors. It's a sparkly planet. Oh, it looks good. I love the top here. This is over the register. It's like Inception, I'm filming them, but. So definitely if you head to Mount Wolf, definitely head back here for the store because it is worth checking out. It's really cool. They got a little bit of extra stuff that you don't find in the actual uh, exhibit. All right, we're heading back to the Asylum Bar and Arcade. There's the arcade. Comment. That's the uh, ride around the thing up top. Let's check out their wild muse. Oh, there's the hundred dollar bills. Yeah, good catch, Nancy. Looks like you can buy wacky stuff in your All right, we're gonna check out outside one more time. I love this call. It's so awesome. Oh, there they go around the thing again. Area 15 does not exist. My favorite part of Las Vegas, y'all, the pigeons. No, it's not my favorite part, but I love the pigeons. This looks super cool. I don't know how you can hear me. Oh, they're up there. One more inside? Yeah, right? Alright, we're getting ready to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, well. <laughs> 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 we're heading up, y'all. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're just spinning. Spin it to win it, yeah. So what you think? It's, you know, think about how high I am and get a little, but for the most part, did you guys like some pictures? Yeah. So as you were saying, your thoughts on this? Uh, it gets a little, uh, like, ooh, when I think about how high, but it's really cool up here. Like, you can see, like, all of the strip, you can see where we live, which is straight back there, that big, that, you see the cliffs and then you see the little mountain kind of things that get out? Yeah. Drink my drink yet. Well, you gotta try it. So, all together, it was $45 for all three of us, and then that doesn't include your drink, so your drink is on top of that, and then you come up here for about 15 minutes. They go up every 15 minutes, which is really cool. And you gotta make sure to buy it beforehand, they don't make you drinks up here. Yes, get your drinks before you go. Starting to head down. And that's it. And that's it. Look at that. Going down, 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 down. Sorry, 15. I mean, it's, it's a play on Area 51, so, you know, no harm there. It was fun. Uh, we went back to Omega Mart for the first time in like three years, and that was so much fun. And that place is like so highly detailed that you really do need so much time to really do it justice. So make sure you give yourself a good couple hours just to explore that alone. And well, I think uh, one thing you gotta think about when you're going there is whether you're gonna do the story or whether you're just gonna enjoy the visuals of it if you're gonna do the story you could literally be there for days at a time if you're just gonna do the visuals that could take a whole day too mm -hmm. um, but we kind of just did the visuals with a little bit of the story today so it wasn't as long as you could have been if you really want to take your time there and we decided to do the VIP, VIP. route today 
today so that actually was really good because we got to skip the long line that was there when they opened because we literally got there right when they opened we got a free drink at the bar and we got 15 percent off at the gift store which was really nice and we got a free pen and you can enter anytime you want too so you don't have to wait for any time to go in you can just go in whenever you want to now it is only a one-time entry so it's not like you can go and come back throughout the day so it is only a one-time thing but i thought it was really honestly it was worth the money we spent and then we went up to the lift bar which was awesome we've been wanting to do that in a long time and that was super cool and that was really honestly not that much either it was about $15 a person just to do it and then if you want a drink you just have to buy a drink separately before you go up there and you don't have to buy a drink to go up there nope nope but you do have to have a ticket to do the lift off so uh, that concludes our area 15 experience almost at yeah. 51 again if you like this kind of content hit that thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get notified we do at least three videos a week and we'll come and get you guys for the next one ain't that the truth baby Ruth bye